Oh, my name is Kian, and I'm learning office called ANL Studio. That's a lot of my friends making fun of me because ANL is, if you pronounce a little bit differently, a lot of my English friend, friends say ANL Studio. So, <laughs> so somehow, and it's funny. <clears throat> what we do is designing uh, architecture and furniture, also uh, like small jewelry, even like three hectares of urban design. So every time I do design, like there is a, a weird, a freaky side on me, which is I'm always looking for fight, like here, and leveling something on it. So I need something to fight for designing. It's, isn't it funny because uh, the designing, what I did, is, is actually is problem making rather than problem solving. So <clears throat> through two projects, I'm going to show how I proceed the design with this character. The first one, the competition for pavilion in park in Australia. So the site was very peaceful and calm and nature. And there's it's like people easy going, relaxed, and everything is calm. And they want to make pavilion here. And I was starting to think about like how can I break down to into dynamic and into more alive and corresponding with everything there is. So <clears throat> I was imagining a, a, a images like uh, from uh, animations. And then if I find a creature from uh, my memory and like find in reality life, and what is going to happen? What people is going to react? That was my idea. And then we propose it. And we won the competition. So <clears throat> this is the lighting, kinetic lighting installation uh, with interactive elements with architectural components. It's like C2 stay and pathway to, pathway to <coughs> play and, and enclosed space for look at around through this. So with a different angle, with a different density, and all these undulations keep, like, make it become a large, unanimated toy. At night, it become like piano with the light. And like I would love to say it is hybrid living creature. So it offers a new experience to people to look around and to make a network between the people and object and actually nature and artificial object. So that's kind of new recognition of what you are, where you are. So that was the project I did. <coughs> the second one was in Songdo in Incheon. So the site was brand new land, so the lamination. And everything was new building. And even the city was brand new. And what we've asked is designing a new sculpture for celebrate a new decade, as well as new bridges over there. So if I make a new sculpture again, it's going to be nothing. So I decide, let's fuck it up and, <clears throat> and bring the container, dirty container there. And because the container itself is, is actually very meaningful because the Incheon is the second largest harbor in, in Korea, and it grew up with the shipping container. So, and also the container is, can s deliver like, several messages to the city, the, the, this kind of new urbanization. Also, the uh, careful uses of resources and respect about the materials, how they use. So, and also, the, this container is the the only one historical object in that land. So I designed the five containers, arranged them differently, not a conventional way, to capture the moment and reframe the scenes toward the sunset and the horizon and the sky, the airplane, and even the back, uh, at the back of the city, the new city. So everything comes together inside, and then you can look at what's going on and what you had before. 
So through, through all this project, I realized that I'm looking for something to design. And for that, I need picking up fight. I need picking up labeling. So, so that thing is like picking up fight to make another problem was like counterbalance. Yeah, that was the word. Counterbalance is, is my design tool and trying to balance it again with something unusual or something different. So that was my tool and maybe that's why and that's why people loved uh, what I made. And please be careful today because maybe I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna looking for fight somebody in here. Thank you.